Hello. If you're a content creator, what do you think is the biggest influence over the feel or the tone of whatever you produce? Is it a kit thing like the cameras you choose or maybe the vintage lenses or maybe the lighting? Or is it more subtle like the way you frame a shot or the way the pictures get graded? Well, I would argue that one of the most influential things is actually audio, specifically music. Let me demonstrate by playing you a really short clip from a drama I've been shooting. And I'll play it twice. Well, that's an extreme example, but isn't it amazing the difference music can make to what you think the story is? And yet we so often leave sourcing music right to the end of the edit when everything's a bit of a pain and it's expensive to license. Well, I found something that makes finding and using music much easier. If you've been making videos for any length of time, you'll know how difficult it can be to find great music. And we've all been there on the net searching for the copyright free stuff, and it's usually rubbish. If it's not rubbish, everybody else is already using it, and you probably can't use it commercially anyway. I've even tried writing my own music, which only went to prove why I should stick to shooting pictures. Eventually you'll realise you have to get into the joys of music licensing. And the first services I used was one of these sites where you buy the tracks individually. And the problem with that is it's often per use, which can get quite expensive. Also, if your use changes, it can get really expensive. After that, I even tried one of these services where you can buy music and then change it in the edit. You can change the beat and the tempo and the feel of the music. And it sounds like a great idea until you realise it only works because it's based on a repetitive theme. So you've just bought a repetitive theme. Quickly, I realised I needed to subscribe to a wide catalogue of music. Some of these can be really good, but they don't make the licensing simple. And if you don't know what your use is, these can also get pretty expensive. Another problem with these sites is what happens when your subscription ends? With a lot of them, you can't even back-reference a video you made earlier without getting a copyright strike. So why do I mention all of these issues now? Well, I think I found the answer, and it's called Artlist.io. And the first thing you see when you go to their very clean and straightforward website is Get Unlimited Music, which actually means you can download as many tracks as you want. That's as many songs as you want, even downloaded every day if you wanted to. But that's not the best bit, and the reason I'm making the video, that's to do with the licensing. An art list have made it really simple, so that anything you download while you're subscribing is yours to use in any way you want. Obviously personal and YouTube stuff, but also commercial projects, even television, and most importantly, work you do for third-party clients. This license basically means the music you download is yours to use however you want, forever. And I've got no idea how Artlist are doing this. And of course, if you're working for a client and you're able to charge a reasonable amount for music licensing, which is quite normal, then three or four jobs like that and you could actually make money from your Artlist subscription. Fifth job, you'd be in profit. Happy days. But what you really want to know is, what's the music like? 
Well, first things first, you've got to find it. And that's really easy. You can start with the spotlight collections. So you've got staff picks of the best of the month or collections made for different subjects like travel logs or podcasts. I'm redoing my showreel at the moment, so looking in there, you can see from the first thing that comes up that it's already suitable. You can also spotlight on artists, and they do seem to be supporting a lot of independent artists, which is good to see. Or you can spotlight on the albums they're making. The main search, though, is really clever. You can search by mood or video theme which seems really well designed for people who are making videos rather than musicians. You can also search for the traditional genre or any particular instrument you'd prefer. So the mood of my video, let's choose powerful. Video theme, well, it's all on my drone, so maybe aerials would work. In genre, cinematic, it's got to be cinematic. And my favourite instrument at the moment, well, probably piano. Now straight away, the page fills with music that you know is going to be close to what you want. And I love these waveforms. I find them really useful for gauging the pace and the tempo. So let's choose Discovery. I can see from the waveform that there's a nice pause here that could be a good edit point. And I can jump straight to it. And yeah, this sounds great. Now at this point, I can put this track in a folder or a collection that I can come back to later, or I can just put it in favorites. I can then go back to my library and download any or all of them at once. Before you know it, you're dragging it straight onto the edit and you're away. That's easy. Generally, I find the quality of the music to be very high. And I really like the fact that they're supporting independent musicians. Now I've got no idea how big the catalogue is and I'm nowhere near touching it, but it feels like they're adding new songs every day. So full disclosure, Artlist are not paying anything for this video, but I do have an affiliate link in the description box below. And if you use that link to subscribe, it won't cost you any extra, but they'll add on two free months for you. You'll also help support this channel, but I have no problem with that because I really do think this service is great, and I've still got no idea how they're doing it. Thanks for watching.